I've got my little Yamaha Warrior in here. I've had this thing several years. I bought it cheap, pretty cheap, paid 800 bucks for it. I think it runs like a scalded dog. But I think the frame has worked on it. If you look, the angle of that control arm and the angle of this control arm, this one right here is at a radical angle. Now this garage floor is not level. It's higher on this side than it is on this side by almost an inch, about three quarters of an inch. And it's also tilted from the front to the back pretty significantly. But what I want to try to do is measure and see just what the torque is. I've actually pulled the steering tube out of the thing and it was bent. And I put that thing in a, in a vise, in a big old long bar, and pulled it, pulled it back around to where it was straight. And it doesn't bind up anymore, it runs real true. So, I don't know if you can see it. It's this guy right here. And if you look from the front, it looks like the handlebars are bending down on this side. In fact, the lights actually look a little bit cattywampus as well. So what I think I'm going to do to measure to see if the thing is torqued or not, is I'm going to jack up the back end of it and set the back axles on those two jack stands. And the one on the left hand side is stationary, the one on the right hand side has a leveling screw in it. So what I'm going to do is get back behind it and set up a uh, one of my, get my laser alignment tool. It's one of those uh, cheap green laser hickeys that uh, does horizontal and vertical lines and all that happy stuff. So I'm going to set that up back behind it and align it with the center of the axle and then adjust that thing so it's gravity level. And then I'm going to come around to the front. I'm going to move my hoist. It's up there. I'm going to pull it around and hook onto the front in the center like as a pivot point and lift the thing up and then use a digital angle measurement tool to measure the angle of the back across the axle and then come up to the front and measure the angle of the frame in the front and see if that thing is tweaked. I'm pretty sure I'm going to find out if this side it's kicked up. And if it is, I'm going to have to find a way to uh, get some pry tools in there and twist that thing around to where I can straighten it back out. Because this stupid thing right here is fast as crap. I mean, it'll scare you how fast it'll run. But they say on the website, you know, when they're new, they'll run 60, 65 miles an hour. And I believe it. This thing is stupid fast. And it's got a real short wheelbase and a narrow whip and it's scary I'm going anywhere over like 35 40 miles an hour so that's my next plan so I'll uh, come back when I get the thing set up and do some measurement I'm planning to use these two holes right here to mount a plate so they should be on the center line with this four-wheeler so I'm making a plate to bolt onto that right here these two will take two M6 holes, and this right here is threaded for a 3 8 And I'm going to use this hook right here. And it'll be mounted to that in that center hole with a 3 8 bolt. And then I'll use my hoist here to lift up the front end of the thing. I've lifted the four-wheeler up, and I've got that stationary jack stand on one side and this movable jack stand on the other side. So once I get the front of it lifted up, I'll bring my laser sighter out here and align this thing, level it up, and see what we get on the front. Okay, I've got that plate mounted to the front there. See how it goes in. Two, 
M6 bolt here, M6 bolt here to hold that plate down. The nuts on the bottom, threaded hole on the top with a 3 16 screw in it, holding this thing right here. Now, this thing is lifted off where the wheels, front wheels are free. So the front wheel or the front end should be tracking whatever the back end is doing. I've got my little laser set up there on the jack so I can elevate it to where the line is in the center of the axle on the stationary side. And so I'm going to adjust this. I think I am. Okay, I need to get something to stick in there. I'll get a something I can put in there. I sure hope this thing doesn't fall off the jack. Okay, this side's got to go down. Okay, oh, wait. Yeah, it's coming. Not very fast though. Okay, so how are we? Let's back up and take a look at that. It needs to come down just a smidge more. Okay. Now, I need to get a digital gauge put on there. Make sure that puppy's level. This little guy right here. Where's a good place to put this thing? I don't know. Let's see, let's put that guy there. It says point one of degrees. Point one degrees. Let's see if I can zero the clip. Zero. Let's see. The laser line looks pretty good across that axle, doesn't it? Okay, I'm going to shut this off and go set this up in the front. Okay, I've got this laser set up on the front end of it. I don't know. It looks like bottom of that plate right there kicked up on this side I've got my digital level in there let me turn that thing back on it's saying 2.7 degrees so if they think level in the back I'm assuming that plate right there is probably parallel to the back end, so that's what the control lines are mounted to, and it's 2.7 degrees different. Which way? If I raise, yeah, it's high on this side, 2.7 degrees. So.
what do I have up here on the laser line? Yeah, this right here is definitely higher than this side. So that means I've got to twist this frame back this way somehow. So let's see, this is still Oh, let's settle that down now. Let's uh now let's see. That's free. This is free. Yeah, that still says 2.7 degrees. 2.75. Wow. That's a long way. I wonder if I can adjust that laser. Just across the bottom. So it just barely hits the bottom of that. Okay, it's just crossing the bottom on the left hand side. There it's hitting the bottom on the right hand side. That pretty well confirmed it. This thing is definitely twisted. The control arms. Well, this thing's suspended in the center and hanging down like that. I wonder if they're hanging at the same angle. Let's check that. Let's see. It's going to be hard to get this to set up. Okay, so that's 30, 32.3, 32.4 degrees on that side. degrees on this side. Well, that's three degrees. Yeah, that would confirm it. Two, about three degrees. Measure 2.7 across that plate in there. Where the hell that plate is? There it is. Oh, look at that. I can uh, maybe. Let's see. Can I raise this? Is it still shining? See if I can get it to where. One more little detail. I got this laser line set up right in the center. Control arm on the left hand side. Boy. Look how far off it is on the right hand side. That is something. That's got to tweak a long way. That's an inch. That's an inch different, I'll bet. Almost an inch. That is an inch. That's an inch different from this side and the other side. Good grief. That's a long freaking way. <clears throat> well, I guess I'm going to probably have to uh, take all the plastics off the front, constrain the rear somehow, and get some long pry bars and tweak the front somehow. I don't know whether to do, stick something down through here and pull it this way, or mount something 
across there on the bottom of that frame and pull it. I'm not sure exactly where it's tweaked. I don't see any place obvious that anything is bent. Either this side's bent up or the other side is bent down, and I'm not sure which. I'm thinking this side's bent up. That's what I'm thinking. Apparently this thing took a tumble somewhere in its life. Oh crap, I can almost see it from here. Across this to that, that side's bent up. Yeah, I really hadn't looked into this before. I guess I'll pull the plastics off and find a way to brace the bottom and strain it in the back where it's flat and torque this front back into alignment. I think what I'm going to do is take some flat bar and lay it across different places in here and measure the angles and see if I can figure out where this thing is torqued or twisted. There may be a point that I need to leave alone. And twist it from there. But it's definitely twisted. I'll figure it out. Okay, I've had an epiphany. I put the uh, digital level under the frame several places where I could find a flat spot. That right there is under the swing arm, and that's zero. And I checked several places all the way up to the frame, all of them are zero. So I was thinking, what the heck if the swing arm is what's kinked or twisted? That would be possible. Right now, the bottom of the swing arm axis is level, and you can see this tire here is up higher than it is on the other side. Let's go look at the front. Get this digital level here. Let's put it up here in the same place it was. See what we get. We got one inch. I want one, one degree. We still got one degree. What if I got this thing? Let me make sure I got this exactly. Oh, that's a quarter of a degree. I had this thing tilted, twisted just a little bit. Make sure I've got it on axis. At 0.1 degree. 0.1 degree. Okay. Let's see what we get here on these swing arms now. 31.3. One direction. going to be hard. 28.29. That's two degrees difference. There may still be something wrong up here. What if both? What if it's both? This guy right here. That's 0. 0.6 degrees. And this thing hit something somewhere along the way. That's reliable. Yep, 
with the swing arm, give it level. To the control elements. They are still a little different. This side down a little bit more than this side. Maybe the swing arm is kinked. Maybe the frame is bent as well. That's curious. I'm going to shut this off and come back down here and set the laser up again on this and see just what the axle looks like with that bottom looking at zero. Okay, with the uh, laser back on the back axle now. Need to go level. Reading the zero. It's off the swing arm pivot. Or just under the swing arm pivot. Actually, the uh, shock of the water. And boy, look where those laser lines go across the axle. Above it on the left hand side, and way under it on the right hand side. That's totally strange. Well, I don't know. I'm going to have to chew on this some more. What I have decided to do is to construct a frame of some sort, a structure that will be flat, that will actually fit underneath the frame of this thing. So I can, I'll take the wheels off, take the chain and whatever I can off, so I can level the thing. My stupid burglar alarm going off over there. But I'm going to level the bottom of this frame up under here, lay it on flat on something to where I know it's flat, gravity level, and then measure other places on the back and see if that swing arm possibly is tweaked. And once I get the frame level, the bottom of the frame on a level platform, then I can measure distances from it to the height of everything else. I still think this thing here is kinked. I'm not sure when I'm going to do that, but that's my next project. I may just write it this summer as it is and worry about it next, uh, next fall. I don't know, I may tackle it sooner than that. It's on my mind, so I'm probably gonna go ahead and try to take care of it, and I'll film it when I do it. Thanks for watching.